Yeah, she bad, ain't she? Uh, why would I want to keep her to myself? I know you mad, ain't you? Cause she only want me and no one else. I tell her put her heels on. Uh, so she could show off them legs. But even with her clothes on, she turn head. I see him looking at my woman. Welcome back. This is part two of this three-part series of how to color, construct, and install your unit. I am now about to show you guys in this video how I make my unit. The supplies that I used were just a while back, so if you didn't catch it, rewind back and you will see it. So this is the dome cap that I used, and let's get started. So I have officially started on the bottom bundles so my two longest bundles I do double my tracks and I am going to show you guys how I sew the track onto the dome cap so if you look closely I do not sew onto the thick elastic band I sew above it so that way I can have a little bit more stretch when I am putting on my wig, my unit. So nothing fancy here, just showing you guys how I flip the track, try to keep it as flat as possible so that way it does not lump up or bump up. And now that I've added my two bundles, I'm now gonna start with my closure. So I usually like to use the dome cap for guidance. Um, you don't have to do this, and some closures may be bigger than that, but I use it because it's there. So this is just showing you how I go through the dome cap for the closure and then through the closure. We are going to sew from side to side and then the back. Making sure your stitches are as close as possible so there is no lift and it is secured. Okay, the closure is all done, all sewed in. Now I'm gonna fill in the rest of the space with the remaining two bundles. So I have added in three bundles and now I am going to be working on my fourth bundle to fill in that space. This is just showing you how I go through the web and fill in that spot. So I finished the rest of the hair adding in the rest of the hair off camera. It is now complete. If you look really closely, you'll see that there is no space in between the closure and the weft hair. And that is because you don't want those gaps or those spaces 
because it will not look right when the wind blows. So I'm just going to go here and cut off the excess material underneath the lace so that way it can mimic scalp when it's time for you to put it on your head. Okay, the extra material is off. I am now about to go into parting the hair and get it ready for customization. All right, so let's jump right on to it. We are going to shape the hair first before I even begin to tweeze or pluck any hairlines. So as you can tell, there is definitely disconnect between those two pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and blend that on in and make it look good. So get your shears and begin to trim. I usually like to use a scissor sliding method so that way it's not such a harsh line. I do that pulling the hair backwards and then also pulling the hair towards the front. So that's a big no-no. Disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. We don't want that. So now I'm checking the front and I still need to do some evening out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've done the front with evening it out and making it look as uniform as possible. Now I'm just gonna go through and add just some slight layers because I don't want anything too heavy throughout the hair. Just something for a little bit of oomph. So now let's get to these ends, hunty. So what I wanna do is go in at an angle point cutting so that way it's not too harsh of a line going straight across. So I have finished even it up and I'm just going to go back in and check anything that needs to be fixed and voila there we go we have some clean ends so now let's customize this front nothing too crazy i just want to break open that middle part because right now it's looking like the red sea before jesus came and split it open so we just want to go ahead and you know make that room make that space Okay, so y'all see the difference? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is still go through, part the hair at a horizontal angle and begin to pluck it towards the hairline. And as you guys can see, the difference between the plucked part and the non-plucked part. And when it's time for me to lay down my wig, you'll see why I ended up doing this to the closure. So I'm gonna continue to go through at a horizontal angle and just remove some of the bulk from the closure. And now on to the other side. And I repeat the same thing. Okay guys, so I'm finishing up this side of the hair and once I get done with this side, I will be moving on to part three of this series and that is styling the hair and installing a unit. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.